What is going on, y'all? It's your boy TJ, the Jaha Entrepreneur. I'm back, y'all. A lot has been happening since I've been since I made the last video. So I figured, what better time? Y'all can probably hear an echo. There's nothing behind me. Uh, we just bought a five-acre homestead in Paris, Texas. Um, and we're up here on the weekends moving stuff in um, and then going back down to Arlington uh, during the week. But we decided this weekend there was a bunch of yard sales. So I said, you know what? Let's go check out what we might be in store for up here. Let me tell you, it did not disappoint. Uh, we just hit a few that I could find on a Facebook app and on the Facebook Marketplace apps for the local area. And then we just kind of hit, I think we hit three or four or five maybe. But I didn't spend much money, but we're gonna make some money. But let me get, I wanna get started. I wanna get this channel fire back up. So um, I figured what better way to do it than this right here. So down with my feet, I've got all the goodies. And I'm gonna just show y'all a couple finds, tell you what I paid for them. Um, some of the things I need to research a little more, and I, I'm gonna need your help on a pair of shoes because. I haven't been able to find anything. So uh, without further ado, let's get to this haul. So this is a haul. Um, this was the first garage sale we went to. Didn't find much. Pick up my daughter a new bike. It's in the garage, a new mountain bike for $60. It's a $200 mountain bike. But first thing that caught my eye was this. Embroidered Looney Tunes on that Warner Brothers tag. So there's one listed right now, I think, for $22. I paid a buck for this. Digging in that same same drawer, my wife found, you know it, none other than Mickey Mouse embroidered, um, 1928. It's embroidered on that Disney store tag. So nice little freaking uh, collared sweatshirt. We also, my wife, we picked up some shoes for the grandkids, but if they, if they don't fit or whatnot, but we couldn't go wrong. She got this little pair of shoes for a buck. And then the lady threw in these Converse, two pair of little baby Converse. How cute are these? Y'all remember like putting these up in your mirror if you're that age? She got these for 50 cent a piece. Um, the black ones are in pretty good shape. The, the gray ones, the, the emblem on the back is worn off, but... We couldn't pass those up for 50 cents. So then we hit the next garage sale. The next garage sale did not disappoint. First thing I found were these kids' um, Under Armour shoes. There was a big sign that said all shoes a dollar. Paid a buck for those. But these are the very first pair I found there. These things look brand new. These, I believe they're kids or women's Asics. Again, for a dollar, I'll buy those bread and butter items all day. And then my wife came back with these. Um, pretty good shape soles, these kids' Nikes. Again, a dollar. So then we went inside. And there were some video games on the table. There was a bunch of uh, computer, old computer game stuff. So started digging through. Sign said, games, dollar. Started finding Xbox One games. Call of Duty, another Call of Duty, um, Bully, and Halo. Now, these are all marked a dollar, but when we went to go pay, he's like, just, he started to take, he's like, I'll give this you 50 cents. So, he added everything up, and we were at like 20 bucks, and he's like, just give me 10. So, also got an Xbox One controller um, with the battery pack. I got a battery pack over there. It was listed at two bucks. And we found this. Now, I'm a fish guy, so I make some things. One of them little, like, handheld blenders. Um, it's Bella, but it was marked three bucks. So it comes with this attachment here, and then it comes with this for blending beverages. I couldn't pass it up. So like I said, I got all that for 10 bucks. Then we found a fish, what I like to call fancy neighborhood. I love them fancy neighborhoods. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's almost gated. Um, half a million, a million dollar homes. Big old sign. Yard. We, weren't, we, weren't, we didn't find this. We found this on the way to another yard sale. See the sign? I said, I got to go. So I'm glad we did. Um, Starting to get into CDs and stuff. Picked up this little CD rack. 25 cents. This is where I need y'all's help, y'all. 
This pair of shoes, it, it was lightweight. They look pretty new. Um, it's they're they're called Express. I think they might be. They they have a size 42, so they may not be from here. But they were two bucks. They were light. It looks like some kind of pair of cycling shoes. I don't know. Help me out, y'all. What do y'all think? If y'all if y'all know what these are, leave them in the comment. I searched. I did Google Lens. I couldn't find nothing, but for two bucks, I'll take a chance on them. And then from that same yard sale, box listed. CD, bunch of CDs, a dollar. Y'all gonna love this. I, put, I started looking to my wife, pick up any rock and any well known name bands. Y'all know about, y'all know the Beatles? A buck, two disc set. My favorite, ACDC, Back in Black, a buck. Eric Clapton, a buck. Pink Floyd Relics, a buck. Pink Floyd Moore, a buck. The Beatles, a buck. Y'all seeing the, the, the trend here? The Beatles, a buck. Another Pink Floyd, the, a buck. Pink Floyd The Wall, to this set, a buck. There's more. It just wait, there's more. Um, the Beatles, to this set, a buck. Another the Beatles for a buck. Can't go wrong. I'm telling you, I, I call some of these. Some of them are seven to ten dollars, but at a buck, I'm down. Charge a couple bucks shipping. Send them all day. The Beatles, a buck. Pink Floyd, obscured, obscured by clouds, a buck. Oh, I'm not done. Bob Dylan, a buck. Pink Floyd, a buck. The Who, a buck. The Rolling Stones, Rewind, a buck. Rolling Stones, Steel Wheels, a buck. The Beatles, Yellow Submarine, a buck. Now, I know the Beatles CDs aren't as valuable as they would be on records, but at a buck, I'll take them. I'll listen to them at the house if I got to. Um, Pink Floyd, The Wall, live, two disc set. I, I think this one comps at about $25 ish. I could be wrong. I, I looked at a couple. The Beatles, Let It Be, I bought. And last but not least, The Beatles. So I picked up all those CDs at a buck a piece. I didn't even bark. I didn't even bark. I knew what I got. Then hit another yard sales. One of them yard sales that some things are priced way overpriced, and other things were priced reasonable. Um, I'll pick. Decent pair of Converse up, five bucks all day long. Sell them 25, 30 bucks, depending on what's going on, what, how many are listed, but bread and butter, baby. Nike slides, again, great condition, five bucks, take that all day. And then, then, we, had, we had found, found one last large sale, big, huge, indoor, outdoor large, or yard sale. So I was like, let's go check it out. Me and my wife walking around, walking around, couldn't find nothing, couldn't find nothing. Um, we went over to the free bin, picked up this. Cassette tape player, I got this, if anything, to test CDs out, but um, it's, it's a little cheap one, but, you know, pick these up, guys, that they, they, they sell. I picked it up for free. So, went around the place once. Didn't find much, but I, 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 I found a pair of shoes. I'm gonna leave it to the end, but I could circle back around, and I seen this from the back. It, it was like this. I thought it was a DVD player. It was a black Wii, y'all. There was no price tag. So I went and I asked the lady, ma'am, there's no price on this. She said, oh, Lord, my husband was supposed to price all this. She's like, how's five bucks sound? <laughs> Here's my five bucks right here. So the last thing I'm going to show y'all, this was at that same sale I just picked up that week. Walking around, shoes. Like I said, this is another sale. Some things were priced like crazy. And then the other things were pretty reasonable. It was it was at a volunteer fire department's community center. So all the proceeds, I didn't mind paying up for some things. But I came around the corner and I saw this. And I was like, oh, this is going to be one of them items, right? That's crazy priced. Y'all. You see that? A dollar. I, I couldn't grab them fast enough. Nike 
Air Jordan flights. Um, they need to be cleaned up a little bit, but soles look good. I mean, there's a pair, a pair of soles for $160. Right there. For one dollar! Let's go holla the holla for a dollar! So, guys, did I do all right? Leave me a comment down below. Tell me, would y'all have picked this stuff up for the prices I did? I don't think we spent, the most we spent was my daughter's bike. That was 60 bucks. I don't think I spent $30, $40. I can get all that back out of the Jordans and be in profit. Everything else was free, 99. So, no, I'm back. I'm back and I, I can't wait to share everything with y'all. Once we get up here, it's going to take another month. We're moving on the weekends, but, um, Y'all seen a couple couple of my videos on Instagram and my shorts on YouTube. Bought me a, a $50,000 tractor and freaking zero turn mower to take care of the property. So that means I got some land. Um, but I can't wait to share it with y'all. So once we get all set up and get in, I'm going to give y'all a tour. Do y'all want a tour? Y'all want a tour of the new homestead? Talk to me. Let me a comment down below. Tell me if you want to see a tour of the homestead. Like I said, we won't be moved in fully until next month, which is cool because my wife is still teaching and our lease isn't up till May. So we have time. So we got all the stuff out of store, all my eBay stuff out of storage, a third of the garage up here. And we've been just bringing loads on the weekend, packing both our cars. Um, we'll be fully moved up here about mid-May. And then look for that, look, look for that home. We got some stuff going on. Um, my wife's got surgery on, she's getting her other knee replaced on May 26th. So give me a few weeks after that. And I'll give y'all a tour. I may give y'all a tour before that, but it won't have everything set up. My office and everything won't be set up. But I give y'all, I give y'all an empty tour and then we'll come back. We'll bring it back around and we'll do a part two. So. Guys, as always, stay humble, stay hungry, stay focused. Until next time, peace.